Hello Pisces, I'm Susie from the Gift to Go 2 and I'm here to read your cards from the 12th of April to the 18th of April. Universe, Spirits, Guides, Angels, can you give us the reading for Pisces from the 12th of April for the week of the 12th of April? For Pisces, the week of the 12th of April. Please, please. Oh, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, week of the 12th of April for Pisces, please. Okay, Pisces, so we have the Seven of Pentacles with the Page of Wands. No, Seven of Cups, sorry, with the Page of Wands. Um, a lot of options. Pie in the sky. Has someone been offering you things and nothing's been brought down to fruition? Um, so you want to just go anywhere, jump into the unknown. Um, but you're overwhelmed with worry, having nightmares in the night. You're worried about something. You're making your own mind worries up because someone's been telling lies, basically, I feel, Pisces. And... It, there's been an ending to a relationship, maybe a third party. So that's brought about a stalemate with somebody. You're not talking to someone, no one's budging. And you're just ascending off like the high priestess because you've grown, you've got more wisdom, you've got more instinct. You're going with your instinct, your gut feeling, and you're completing a cycle. Um you're wondering whether to go around and do something again with somebody, I would say don't do it. Someone might want to come back for a second chance in love. Five of Swords is when you go back the second time, it ends worse than the first time. And it always comes, well, 99.9% .9 out of times, it comes with the Three of Swords, which is an end into a relationship. And then someone decides, oh, let's go back and try again. And then it, and then it goes even worse the second time, like you swear at each other, it goes like medieval on them and you just like, it's narcissistic, you really hate each other the second time. You're like, why did I even go back? Okay, see, you're the high priestess now, you can go any way you want. You've been there, done that, got the t-shirt, you're ready to travel, you're ready to go around and do something again. Don't do this relationship again, whether it's with this page of ones because they're too young, they're too dumb <laughs> they make you worry all the time because they don't tell the truth they've probably been a three-third party no one's budging no one's talking this high priestess is here is ascension she's instincts there's dreams there's you've got the world you've got you've got all the power in the world the spiritual power that you need not to say something you might regret later just be passionate, go with your passion, know that you're sexy, know that you're on another path with this hermit, there could be a spiritual soulmate coming in like an equal, someone who's got knowledge that's going to help you, no they're not going to help you, it's like you've done this on your own, it's like you've acquired so much knowledge that You just can't can't go back. It's, it's like you've become passionate about spirituality, and you you've 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 achieved something which no one helped you get there. If anything, they they tried to really cut you down and make you feel that you were worthless. You know, and thank God you you realized that you're passionate, you're worthy, you're knowledgeable hermit, you're going towards your original path. You're following your original path. This nine of pentacles is travel. It's um, the, the hermit is being on your own as a single person and loving it independently. It's like, it's like publishing a book. It's like your passion has come back for yourself, for your hobby, for your intimate spiritual light. And it might take for this relationship to come back and be flawed to the to the maximum and you take it to the bridge and there's no going back this time. And 
maybe that needs to happen before you 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 get the gist of of this person is lying you know this they're writing checks they can't cash saying things they don't then that nothing's ever going to be real you know and it's you've had it you've had it with the overwhelm with the mental with making up things and worrying about something and oh, this threesome situation and not talking to somebody and it's like once you find this out or you, you even if you think it and it's giving you this torment because you're having to work things out yourself in your own brain you decide to like say do you know what do not i don't want anyone to come near me i've got the other card is she's got a back to the ocean of emotion and she's ready with the two swords and she's blindfolded so anyone that comes in the vicinity it's whoosh, inst and she will go with the instinct she'll smell them coming right so this is what the high priestess does it's like it's like do you know who i am do you know what do you know where i've been do you know how much knowledge i have do you know what spiritual person i am and you've took me to this level of actually no one wins in the situation no one wants to go back with each other you're the queen of wands here you you're passionate about who you are about your path in life and your independence and this is taking the book out of the drawer which has been in the drawer for 10 years and you get it published it's like why didn't i do that 10 years ago I, I let all this stuff happen. These other people control my mind and this, that and the other when I should have just gone with my instincts, followed my passion, followed my hermit path, my knowledge. But maybe you had to go through this to get there, that obviously, because you've got the world. So you've been there, done that, got the T-shirt. If you're thinking about going round again, don't do it follow the the original plan which you had before this malarkey <laughs> let me ask the angels the romance angels for you pisces so pisces pisces what do you like pisces to know what do you like pisces to know angels and spirit guides and the sun came up just as i was going to read it's the afternoon here and i was worried that the sun wouldn't come up i'll let that come out wedding this situation involves marriage angels and spirit guides what would you like <laughs> pisces to know pisces 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 let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others angels and spirit guides what would you like pisces to know i could just see you just following your original plan your path and it makes you look very sexy so just concentrate focus angels and spirit guides what would you like pisces to know about the week of the 12th of april the week of the 12th of april calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together what would you like pisces okay so worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life Release your ex. The timing has come to clear your energy. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. A new love. Thank God for that. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. See, you focus on you, on your path and your individuality. It, it makes you very attractive. And believe me, it's worth waiting for. Your soulmate will come and once you release this effery okay don't go around again don't go around again um you're in the cycle you're about to go and do something do it differently this time but not with the same person if you know what i mean there's a virgo up here who's who could help you be independent who's got a lot of knowledge who who is your spiritual partner this person you need someone who loves what you do it loves your ideas loves um your security that you're grounded that you know where you're going right it's like you need to know where you're going you do know where you're going it's a spiritual path but you might need to go go somewhere and really end it with someone or someone says something to you cruel really end to, to nastily end it in love and 
your passion comes back for being doing the thing you wanted to do in the first place and being independent. Animals are very significant with the Nine of Pentacles as well. And what you see in this lion at her feet and this ram. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like? And let your friends help you um, call in your soulmate and help you uh, introduce you to someone that's worthy of you and worth waiting for. Release. You've got a new love coming. There's an attraction here. Angels and spirit, they're attracted to you because you're spiritual and you've, you, you're focused on yourself and vice versa. It's not this pie in the sky love. It's not this like overwhelm of worrying all the time or threesome people. It's not. Angels and spirit guides, what would you like? What would you like? Pisces, 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 Pisces. Angels, spirit guides, Pisces, Pisces. What would you like, Pisces, to me? And I just looked at 11.02 on the clock there. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations New venture. You've, you've got the t-shirt to prove it. You've, you're a whole person now. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like? Pisces, Pisces. It's my dog snoring. That's really loud, isn't it? Angels and spirit. We're talking about animals. Angels and spirit guides. She's, out, she's 15 and she's blind. And she's really sad. Um, angels and spirit guides, what would you like Pisces to know? Angels, give us two more cards for Pisces for the 12th of April, for the 12th of April, for Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Pisces, 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 Pisces. Pisces. 12th of April, for the week of the 12th of April, for Pisces. Angels, give me some cards for Pisces, please. Pick me two. Clear sentence, notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. See this instinctual knowing that you've already got all the knowledge. You, 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 there's a reoccurring emotional feeling here. It's divine guidance. The timing is right for this new venture. Pisces. <laughs> trying to think, I don't, do I know any Pisces? No, I don't. Angels and spirit guides. What would the angels and spirits like Pisces to know? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Brilliant idea. As your idea is divinely guided, please take action to bring your idea to fruition. Listen, Pisces, you're being told spiritually that this thing's going to, you know, no one helps you get here. Whatever it is your path is, whatever you're single-minded about, just do it. Do it. Do not listen to any, anyone that says you can't, anyone that says you're not worth it, um, you're being guided. It's clear sentence. You're picking up things with a high priestess. A happy, I think, just think of the best case scenario for if this thing was successful. Where are you stood? Are you stood on the beach in front of your beach house? Are you holding hands with the man of your dreams? Are they on their knees putting a ring on your finger? Are they talking to you about spirituality and, and, and goals and things like that and actually making them manifest? Whatever idea you have, it's brilliant. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. Good luck, Pisces. This is cool. Can you put in the comments if you do it to achieve something at the end of this week? Um, please like, share and subscribe. Hope I've helped you and uh, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.